how this might fall cause flips today we have three boot sales today i was gonna go further afield outside of my local area but turns out after saying that it was going to be off today the biggest one in the area is actually going to be on today and actually all three of my local ones are on today so it's the first time that's happened in weeks and weeks so i can't go outside of my area when this is the case so i'm going to stay local today So just arrived and on the way it absolutely poured it down for about five minutes but some by some miracle it doesn't seem to have hit here at all so it's either it might be on its way but let's get in there now and see what we can find it's not that big here yet anyway i have got here for just before six yeah i think a lot of people maybe didn't even know it was back on after them saying it was cancelled anyway I want to get in there and hopefully find a few bits to resell for profit. Let's get in there. Let's go. Right, let's go. Not many people set up yet by the looks of it. That's old. It's a... Um, crash test dummies. That's the one, yeah. Crash yeah. test dummies. I'm guessing it should have some wings, shouldn't it? It should have, yeah, that should have wings, yeah. yeah. And that's missing the front tyre. Yeah. How much on them? Um, Fiver for the lot. And then two quid for the head. You do a fiver in total? So. I can't. Um, I'm literally just selling it for what I paid. I got it off Bolton and I've not had time to go to shop yet. Yeah. Six. Uh, How's that? Quid. Yeah, spot on. Thank you. Couch a little tell. I might have checked these up. <laughs> All right. Just the scales. Are they and uh, they're going for like sort of 15 to 25 each. Um, yeah. I'd do them to like four quid a piece cause, just because they're working and they are yeah. 70s. That's scared from 70s. No, I'll just take these, please. No Thank you. Big ones. Uh, they, they go for like, silly money. Yeah. Yeah, first purchase is there. Uh, it's not nice here today. It is pouring it down now. I always get to test out my new coat. Everyone's just covering up all the stuff now and nobody else is arriving solo wise. Hey, it's supposed to be a bank holiday Sunday, like one of the busiest of the year, right? Yeah, check out the sunrise. Yeah. It's a full set from the movie. All right. He's uh, he's had him for years. What is that one? That one. Set of five. Yeah. They're pretty cool as well, some of the features they've got. Hey, yeah, Nicole. Again, there's a set of uh, one, two, three, four, five, I think, was yeah. yeah. Yeah, five. How much draft on them? I did want 20 quid on them, but he's taking off it. Um, how much is your baby box there? The, the under the bird cage. Oh, it's some stuff. I 
All right, no worries. Okay, thank you. The one thing I wanted <laughs> it's for her stock. So I've decided to call it quits here today. It's supposed to be raining until about 11 o'clock. I mean, it's not even seven yet. I'm not waiting around here for several hours in the possibility that people stick around. I don't think they will. I think a lot of people are just gonna end up going if it carries on like this for much longer. So <laughs> the original plan today was to go to Bolton. I'm not going Bolton because by the time I get there, I don't think it'll be worth it. Plus I've just checked the weather forecast and it's raining there as well. So I'm gonna go north to Clivero. It's about a 35 minute drive from here and it's indoors. So we ain't gonna have this problem with the rain. Uh, the other ones in the area, one of them has come out and said, cancelled. It wasn't the plan for today at all. I was going to maybe go there tomorrow, but hey, let's go there now, see what we can find. Let's go. Hey guys, just arrived here at Clitheroe Auction Market. I decided to take the scenic route over. It was only like three minutes longer rather than going the motorway and it's well worth it. Nice drive, really nice drive through the countryside went into like the forest of Bolin, just like the very edge of it. Yeah, really nice. Recommend that route if you're going from like my area over here. Right, so let's go. How's it looking today? Maybe not as busy as last time I was here. At least it's dry. Okay. Would you consider a bit less than the PS3 at all? Or? Ooh, what are you uh, thinking? Was 25 too low? Oh yeah, no way. Uh, it's a bargain at 40. Yeah. I do 30, but that's about as much as I do. Uh, 35 games. Yeah. I'll maybe come back round. Oh, right. Right, thank you. How much is the game? Pounds. Pounds. I'll take it. Thank you. Cheers. You got any other like games or anything? Video games or anything no, like that? No, not anymore. We used to have yeah. them when my son was into them, but yeah. now he's grown up now he's not into animals. Right. So we used to have those at one time, but no. It's just been in my It's your size. It is. Yeah. It fits it's slightly bigger, right? Oh, good, right? Is it real? It is real. Yeah, it is real. Yeah. Genuine. All my clothes are genuine. You're not buying them. Yeah. How much are you? Thank you. No problem. Uh, they're, two, they're two pound each. How much are the puppets down there? Yeah. The hand ones are eight pounds. The gorilla. I saw that the gorilla one. And then I think they're all five pounds. Then. That's 
Trophy, I need you back. I need you back here. I've got about 20 people on my store. <laughs> <laughs> that one's alright, usually. It used to be. Mm. Decent enough condition. Are these yours, sorry? Yeah, yeah. Um, how much are the games? Found eight. Found eight. Um, I'll take those two, please. Thank you. Yes. Eight, any good? No? Eight, eight pounds? It's about as much oh, as I'd do. Okay. Oh, okay, for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, cheers. Oh, sorry, so sorry. Which is that? How much on that? No, two. two. Is it, uh, you just, it's a plug and play? Yeah, you just, yeah, I'll take it please. Okay, so there's an outside bit here today. How much is that? I'll take it please. No, I have another penny please. It's right, it's right in the hand there. Yeah. I like two pence, I get two pence, I think it's finished it. How much on that? Three pounds for that, mate. You do two, it's got a bit, a bit of a chip there. That's that one, yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Ten pounds, that one. Cheers. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Some bit of this. Mm. You're right there. How much are your Pyrex dishes in here? Uh, them Pyrex dishes for all of them. Yeah, I'm guessing you don't have the lids for them. Uh, Just no, I don't think so yet. well, the, which uh, ones these? Uh, these ones here, the milk glass kind of colour one. Um, no, I don't think there are any lids for him, to be honest. No. No, I don't no. think there is. What sort of price are you after? Three, you can have them for, what, 51, three quid per lot, if you want them. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah that, that sounds good to me. Need a, we need a bin box. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very Thank much. You. I don't have no idea. I, I've, I've never seen like the mini ones like that. Do they do them at the yeah, games yeah, or something? Yeah, it'll be from a 
a good team, you know, it'd be a Lancashire, you know, it could be an uh, England team or all that. Yeah. You, you need to go somewhere yeah. first. That's it, I, I don't, unfortunately. One of them? Yeah. The father again. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, I'll wait then. I'll wait to hit one of them. One of them as well. How much have I took them all? That's all. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I just want two. Are they all full, do you know? So, uh, yes. They're all like, got, yeah, got them all in. Yeah, never used them. Yeah. 250 for that. Okay, yeah, I'll do that, please. Thank so you. Of, yeah, yeah. So we've got a few bits, including that Game Boy game, it's a Pokemon Game Boy game, I don't know if it's a legitimate one or not, I'm not quite sure where I've put it, I'm happy I got some of these, kind of, when I saw them I thought they might have been like special plates or something, but not, they're just cards, but I've got them cheap enough, less than 50p a box, that'll do. Got a load of Jupilo, some of this might be okay, I think there's some older stuff in here, it all needs a really good clean though, which I really don't want to have to do. Oh there's the game, right there. Pokemon trading card game made in Japan. I don't know on this. Should, they just had one random game amongst a load of just random stuff. But first, I'm going to see if I can hit a couple more boot sales on the way home. I hope that they're still running and the rain back home has not been too bad. On to the next. So I am back here at St. Michael's for round two. <laughs> it's still raining, it's been raining here. There's puddles everywhere fairly dry on the way back but as soon as I got around these parts it's like this hey let's see let's see if we can find something how much are they sorry how much are they please toys on there. I'll just pick a few then if that's all right and just see what you think. How much are these ones then? Just those one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yep. That's great. Thank you very much. Would you do just that? Because that's a different, uh, that's all Thomas and friends, that's yeah, something else. Cheers. Oh, 
Two quid that, mate. And it works. Two. Thanks, miss. Thank you. Nice, that one. Yeah. You're very welcome, miss. See you later, love. Okay, I'll take it for two. anything down there mate. Right. Found easy game spell. Again, leaving rain. Exactly. Alright pal, Cheers. thanks a lot. I mean just look at it here, look at the ground. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be on tomorrow is it? Take him, thank you. Cheers. Is it the baby off the baby shampoo? I, I, don't, I don't know, is that what it is? I don't know. I have no idea. It's just the fact that it's a, a bottle. Oh, right. um, that's what drew me to it. If it was just ceramic and not a bottle, I probably wouldn't have bothered. But I don't know. I like these weird things. So. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, some people are packing up here. Packing up, going home. It's time to head on to the next one. So only a few bits in there, unfortunately, but hey, is what it is. Check this out, Grandstand 3600 MK2, whatever the hell that is. I do not know, the box is destroyed because of the rain and the thing inside is not in much better condition either. But it was two quid and it looked kind of cool, I figured if nothing else it would look good on my game shelf with my other consoles at home um, I'll give it a go well I'll try it at least, I don't have much confidence on this one if I'm being honest but I say that often and then like take the Billy Bass that I got from here weeks back it seems like almost like years ago because the weather was so nice back then yeah that Billy Bass worked so if that works anything can work right two quid, give it a go check this out, anybody ever seen this before? Edward and Friends, it's based on those like old Lego figures they used to do. It's 20p, I don't, I don't know why I really bought this. I think I've got a few older Lego bits to list. I thought maybe I'd just stick this with it after I've had a good look at it, see if my kids are interested, and then, I don't know, sell it on, whatever, 20p. Um, those uh, dinosaurs, the schleich and stuff, you know, that's a, the price I paid is all right. I could have done better. So they actually agreed to 30 quid and then they kind of backtracked. And I'm like, right. So at that point, I'm doomed. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But whatever, we still we still did okay. We've got a couple of dinosaurs that should be all right. And a few other bits, a few other schleich bits and that. Got, just picked this up for 50p. Baby Sham? She said, is it from Baby Sham? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I, mean, I don't think so. I mean, I, I could be wrong. There's nothing on it. It's old though, I can tell. It's got a good few years in it. 70s, 80s, I reckon. We'll look it up, like everything, when we get back. A few other bits as well. We'll have a good look at everything a little bit later. We've got one more boot sale to go to, Norcross. I'm going to be getting there quite late. And, you know, the weather's not going to be any better there than it is here. So we'll have to see. But positivity oh don't forget about the crash test dummies bits i got as well i didn't pay a lot for them they're missing bits and everything i'm going to be selling just as like faulty parts only i just hope that something here maybe this plane i've never seen any of the planes didn't even know they did crash test dummy planes these are the original ones as well Let's see if i can see a date there we go 1992 Tyco. right on to the next one let's go just arrived at the last one for today and it looks like it's one field only. Let's go see what we can find. Yeah, just the one field today. How much are these? Uh, brand new, so eight quid. Right. Bottom as well. Oh yeah. I want butter with it. Now, now you've said it. 
<laughs> there you go. Well, hang on, hang on. No. Uh, See, now you'd have bought it. Yes. Make love, right? you can, if you find some, I might come back. Oh, oh you okay? Yeah, how are you doing? I didn't say that. Fish pay. Fish pay. It's a win win. Sorry? Win win. Yeah, well, that's. Uh, I got the scope last year uh, and it didn't have the game with it. I oh, thought I had yeah. the game, but I don't. I'm not, not going to play it, it's just to put with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'll I'll just take that so I'm not in your way. So I'm not Right, back to the car and all I bought there today and it's not even for reselling. Is this, oh no, I tell a lie, I did get one other thing. I got this, do you remember I got a Super Nintendo scope uh, last year, might have been the year before now. I got it and it was in its box and everything and I thought I had one of these cartridges still, but I didn't. So this is literally just to complete the Super Nintendo scope I've got. I'm not gonna play it. I'm probably never going to use it. It's just to kind of have with it to complete it. 50p is all it was. These are not these are not expensive. You can buy these on on eBay for very very cheap. But you know, I was there. 50p. Thought I'd buy it. And this three pounds fifty. This is for us. It's just the wax melt set Christmas one. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. I was considering hitting a few charity shops now, but do you know what? I'm all right. I got a lot of stuff yesterday. I've been picking up a lot of stuff recently. I've also got a bit of like wholesale and retail arbitrage stuff going on. So I've got enough to be going on with. Let's head home and see what we've got. So it's a little bit later on now. And today I've spent just under £50 in total. And I'll show you everything that I bought for £50. Let's have a look. So here is everything. And let's start here at the back. I think that was the first pickup of the day, which is the crash test dummies, which I got at the same time as this uh, Pac-Man uh, money box. And I bought these, you know, obviously the missing parts, and I thought I'd be able to kind of just list them up as parts only. And I think I'll be able to do that and get a little bit for them. It's not gonna be a great deal, but I knew that when I bought it. Um, I just kind of, you know, I don't really see crash test dummies out there. I used to have them as a kid, a bit of nostalgia for me right here. And the plane is kind of rare, I thought it was, but parts like this, I don't know. Nobody's really seems to be parting out the planes, so I don't know. I'll probably aim for like 15 quid plus posted, something like that, and you know, make a quick tenner on it thereabouts. I paid six quid for them and for this. He wanted two or three, I think, for this. Uh, this is supposed to make noise. I've not tested it yet. Hopefully, it does work. Uh, the only There's only one listed as I speak, and it is only up for about five, but other people have been selling them for, like, ten. I reckon we can get, like, twelve, more like twelve, maybe even fifteen, as long as it's working, because, as I say, there's only one other person selling it. Got this here. I just really like this. I, there's never much money in these plates, I know, but... I really like this one, something about it, nice Christmas design. 
and a few people have managed to sell them, not for a lot, like five to ten pounds. There's two or three up for about that as well. And yeah, so it'll go, might take a little while, but obviously we're coming to Christmas, so this kind of thing is much more likely to sell between now and Christmas than like earlier in the year. Got these two video games, these were from the Clivero boot sale, and they had a little stack of games. There was a couple of others, but they were quite scratched, I didn't want to bother with them. Uh, but these two are in good condition, I think they're missing the manuals and the maps though, unfortunately. But nonetheless, I think they will still go for together, I'll sell them together rather than separating them. And people are managed to get like 15 to 18 pounds, probably more like 15 because I've not got the manuals or anything. But that's alright, 2 quid into 15. Got this bread bin here, this is from Clivero as well, £2.50. It does have a bit of a chip down at the bottom, but it's somewhere like that, you know, it's down at the bottom, it's not very noticeable, and it's a decent brand, next branded one, and it's a heart shaped one, the heart shape, anything to do with hearts on a bread bin, as long as it's in really good condition, uh, they always seem to sell quick for me. Obviously this one does have a little bit of a chip, but apart from that, it is in good condition, £2.50. I will still hope to get at least 30 quid for this one. I have been finding that it's the kind of longer sit down ones, like the rectangular ones or the oval ones seem to do a little bit better than these stand up ones. So that's something to bear in mind. I just got this to show my kids really more than anything else. It was only 20p. It was in with a load of Thomas and Friends books and I didn't really want all them. I know they do some of the Thomas stuff does sell, but the, the condition was pretty bad. So I didn't want to bother with them. Got this. Baseball, this was from, was it from Norcross, the last boot sale I went to, I think it was, and it was only a pound, whereas somebody was selling a similar ball at Clivero car boot for £10, and they don't go for a great deal of these, but this is a rarer one, I think. I can't seem to see anybody who has sold one, but people have them up a bit higher than the rest, like 20 to 25 quid, some people are asking for it. So, I don't know, I'll probably come in under everybody else and try and get it sold for like 15 to 20, something like that. Check this out, does anybody remember having this as a kid? I do, vaguely. And it's actually made by Hornby. Unfortunately, I think this has been damaged and then repaired. I'm sure I saw some glue on it a minute ago. So, yeah, if that's the case, there's probably very little money in it. I've not looked it up yet, but... It's supposed to have like little mini chocolate bars, which they don't sell anymore either. Again, I knew that when I picked it up. Down here, we've got some Pyrex. They were only three quid. The condition is, on some of them, is, you know, not fantastic. But I think there was a couple that stood out, and this is probably the main one. And I thought there's a little bit of money in that. And there is a little bit. Somebody sold one, just like this, with no lid, for about 10 quid plus postage. So, there you go. Little profit. The rest, I don't know. I'll probably put... In fact, I might put them all up together and just sell them for like 20 quid, something like that. Not going to be a great deal of money in them, but it's a good kind of little selection of different designs. Got this in television right here. This was £2, and if it's working, I mean, some people are asking up to 30 quid, and I'm not quite sure why, because they don't seem to sell for that much. But I've never seen a plug-and-play in television before in television is an old like console i've never seen a console out there but i've never seen a plug and play of it either and i reckon i can get like 12 to 15 come christmas on it not a great deal but i'll enjoy plugging that in having a little game a few games on it before i sell it another video game console here that i've never seen before that i didn't pay 10 quid like it says i paid two it's a pity that the box is like this it was completely saturated and it's got a stain water mark all over it now. It looked like it was in fairly good condition, I think, before that. Um, it would have been nice to have it in its box for a collector or whatever, but I mean, I'm st I've still got the box at least, right? Uh, but it's not in great condition and the battery compartment is rusty. Like, I might be to get it working, possibly. Does it work on mains power as well? It might do. Um, but I think this is probably going to be a keeper for me. I've had a look, and if it's working, you can get like 30, maybe a little bit more. But that's kind of it, really, for this one. I mean, two quid, still worthwhile, I think. But, yeah, not the best. It just kind of looks cool. I am kind of on, on like a mini mission to 
get some of these old weird consoles and kind of keep them for myself. Um, so yeah, this is one that I didn't really have my eye on, but saw it and I thought I'd got to buy that for two quid, right? Uh, these cards here, when I first saw these, I thought, oh yes, these are plates or something like that, like commemorative plates or Christmas plates, but I opened them and I was a little bit disappointed to find a load of cards in there, Christmas cards, but that's okay, because when he told me the price, I was then was like, oh, right, okay, fair enough. I got them all for £2.50, and they sell on eBay. In fact, only one person is even trying to sell them on eBay as a box, and they're asking for £12 something, free postage, I think, and some people have got them set up singularly for £4.50 free postage. I probably won't go down that route. Check this out. I have a look this up, if it's legit. It's not worth a great, great deal, but they do sell like kind of 12, maybe up to 15 at a push. It's actually got a postcode on there. So I searched that thinking maybe I can find like a video game shop with that postcode, but I couldn't find one. It does look like it's come from, you know, why else would there be a postcode on there like that? It looks like that was maybe like the address of the company that sold it. Therefore making it maybe slightly more likely that it's a genuine game. I don't know what it is with these cartridge games, but I think I've heard a lot of like kind of, I wouldn't say horror stories, but I've heard a lot of people saying how they've bought games and they've ended up being non-genuine. So I don't know. I'm not an expert with Game Boy games, even though I had a lot of these when I was a kid. I'm not, you know, completely sure how you spot a fake. So I'll have to have a look into it. Um, but you know, it's not a high end game, so I mean, I wouldn't, it's pretty unlikely that it's a fake, but it is a Pokemon game, so I don't know. If I can get 12 to 15, once I've obviously checked that it's all right, then that'll do. Right here, we got a bag of Duplo, paid eight pounds for the lot of it. We'll, I'm gonna empty that out in a minute because I've just looking down like the side it looks like there's a few other bits of something else in there as well but I'm not 100% but we'll have a look at that in a second this right here was only 50p and I got this from I think I got this from uh, St. Michael's Billsborough the second time I went was it the second time I think it was uh, the lady actually said to me she thinks it might have been Baby Sham but it's not I did find what it was let me see Got it here. So it's vintage ceramic Rhinebend cherry brandy bottle. So they're asking 25, but they've got the little sticker on the back of theirs. They're only after 13.99. Yeah. So there's a little bit of money in it, probably not a whole lot, but 50p, worth a go. So what do you guys think about the whole thing with these dinosaurs and everything? There was a lot of like kind of awkward silences. I don't know how much of it I will have kept in the video because it was just a bit awkward. And there was a kid there as well. And I don't like really, you know, negotiating with children. So I paid 15 quid for Schleich Horse, Schleich Dinosaur, Schleich Gorilla, Schleich Hyena, Papo dinosaur and i think that's papo as well this mythical beast whatever the hell that is i do not know it's got a serpent tail i do not know what that is but it looks cool and then like literally just after i bought off them i went across the way and bought this papo giraffe for 20p <laughs> so you know what i mean yeah 20p if only she had more stuff on the lines of these and I paid 20p each that would have been amazing but you can't always find things that cheap you got to kind of do your best with what you can find and that's what I've done on this and then the surprise I think you know not hugely hugely valuable but the surprise item here is probably this now I have I do recognize the design and I've seen this you know the elephants out there but I didn't really know what they were all about I still don't really know what they're all about uh, but my son, my youngest son, actually says he reads the books at school. Is it a French thing or is this just made in France? Not sure, but it makes like a nice little tune. It's in good condition. And it was only a pound. 
and the only one out there that has sold well the only one out there so there's none out there for sale right now as of making this video but there's one that sold recently for 30 pounds or 29.99 free delivery so i would hope to get the same maybe even a little bit more for something that you just wouldn't really think of it right you wouldn't think it'd be worth quite that much i'm going to probably aim for like 35 plus postage something like that that's all right for a quid i'm going to quickly clear this stuff off and then we're going to take a look at this just a quick look and that's it and as of now i'm wondering whether i should actually do the bank holiday monday boot sales or not i'm just if it's anything like today weather wise i don't think i'm gonna bother i'm going to you know spend a bit of time with my family and yeah i think that's what i'm going to do okay so with the duplo i'm going to just kind of pour it all out down here whoa there's a lot there's a lot in here. What's this? What is this? 2007 Jack's Pacific. Little game card. I had no idea that was in there. I know I said I, I thought I saw a couple of bits down the side, but it was like, I think it was like this. I saw all <laughs> this ball that I saw. I didn't know that was in there. Oh, that's cool. A little Mario toy. My kids will, my kids will appreciate that. A few kind of like, I was gonna say non-branded. I think that's that's little people. That that's all right. It all looks like legitimate Duplo. From what I can see, I have no idea what that is. All that. Some actual Lego. Yeah, nothing that seems to be like giving away <laughs> what this is supposed to be. That's like a Christmas sleigh or something. It's just like a load of random bits, isn't it? It's like some kind of fire brigade thing. Like a plow, is that some kind of, some kind of plow or steamroller or something? I don't know. But there's a lot here. I'm glad that it is all Duplo. Or at least the vast majority is. I've not found any that's not yet. Obviously, we got the odd, like, random other bit. And that's something to do with Mario as well. What is this, though? I did not expect this to be in there. And I don't think, looking at it, it's going to be worth a great deal. But people like Pokemon stuff, don't they? Bit rough around the edges as well, as you can see. Yeah, I wish it was a bit older. It'd be cool if it was, like, 90s, wouldn't it? It'd probably have a bit of value to it. Right. Should we put some batteries in it, see if it works? Let's have a look. I'll just put the new batteries in. Is it gonna work? The on off switch is just there. Go on. Yes, there's something on there. Yep. So these are not too bad. Somebody sold one there for £18.95 that's tested and working. Somebody's undersold that at £2.95. But there's a few sold outside of America. There's quite a few listed though, so it might be a bit of a kind of longer tail item. But 25, 25, 20, 29, 95, 25, 34, 30, 30. 35 and that's it so I think it'll go I'm going to come in under everybody else because mine is pretty rough on the front as you can see everyone else's looks better than mine so yeah I can't ask the top dollar for it but it works 20 quid plus postage 
not bad, eh? I only paid eight quid for the bag, so I was not expecting that. Plus, I get something for my kids. My kids love these little like McDonald's Mario toys, and all of this. This will make a nice bundle, even if it isn't all the same kind of thing. It doesn't really matter too much. But there we go. Nice little bonus in that. It's nice when that happens. It you know occasionally does. You get to the bottom of a bag. I mean, I kind of hoped that was the case, hence me leaving the bag till last, but I did not expect to find anything like remotely as good as that. Not that it's like crazy amazing. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything about it that you did like, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified the next time I've got a video out. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Well, hang on, hang on. No. Uh...